So today we will build AI voice agent which can answer on your behalf. Because according to this Invoca blog over here, we can see that there are so many different different sectors which are not getting leads because there are not enough humans to answer the call. So insurance company misses 39% of inbound call, physical therapy 28%, so auto dealership misses 21% of inbound call, auto service 20%, bank and lenders 49% of inbound call, cruise land 37%, dental 27%. So this many percentage of call are going unanswered because there are not many enough human to answer the call. So today we will build AI voice agent which can answer the call on human behalf. Let me show you demo. So this is the dummy landing page. It could be any landing page. It could be bank landing page. It could be the number you are getting from the uh, Google map, anything. So over here we can see that to get in touch, we have to call this number. So let's call this number. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling Tootsie Clinic. How can I help you today? Um, I'm looking like what kind of services uh, do you provide? At Tootsie Clinic, we offer a range of dental services, including routine checkups and cleanings, fillings and restorations, teeth whitening. And oh, veneers that's, that's great. That's great. I'm looking for teeth whitening. Teeth whitening is one of the services we provide at Tootsie Clinic. Would you like to book an appointment for teeth whitening? Yeah, I would love to book an appointment. Great. Yeah. Great. Can I please have your first name? If you wouldn't mind, could you spell it out? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's Lakshit, L-A-K-S-H-I-T. Thanks, Lakshit. And your last name? Um, Ukani, U-K-A-N-I. Thank you, Lakshit Ukani. What's your preferred contact number? Um, it's double nine eight seven seven four six zero. Could you please confirm the full phone number, including all digits? <laughs> it seems like some digits might be missing. Okay, no problem. It's double nine eight seven seven four six zero. And thank you for confirming. Could you please share your email address and spell it out for me? Yeah, it's um, lakshit at gmail.com. And thank you for providing your email address, Lakshit Ukani. Just to confirm, your contact details are phone number 9987-7460. Email lakshit at gmail.com. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Could you please confirm if the phone number you provided is complete? It seems to have only eight digits and typically phone numbers have 10 digits. Yeah, you are absolutely right over here. So uh, I might have missed two digit over here. So it's double nine eight seven seven four double nine six zero. Thank you for confirming Lakshitukani. Now, could you please tell me your preferred date and time for the teeth whitening appointment? What are the slots available for tomorrow? Let me check the available slots for tomorrow for you. For tomorrow, we have available slots from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 30 a.m. to 1 p.m., 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Which time would you prefer for your teeth whitening appointment? Oh, that's great. So, um, can you book an appointment for 11 a.m.? Let me check the availability for 11 a.m. tomorrow for you. The slot from 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. tomorrow is available. Would you like me to book your teeth whitening appointment for yes. 11 a.m.? Yes, yes. Your appointment is confirmed. You will receive a confirmation email shortly. Thanks again for calling Tootsie Clinic. Take care. So, how voice AI agent took all the control? No human were needed. It was properly answering all the queries I had. Properly booked the appointment. It was able to identify that it was only an 8-digit number. So how great is that? So stick till the end because I'll be sharing all the resources which are used over here. My name is Lakshit and if you are new over here, I help people ease their life with the automation. So let's get started. So this video will be divided into three parts. In the first part, we'll be setting up the AI voice agent. In the second part, we'll be setting up the NNN. In the third part, we'll be connecting the NNN with the voice AI agent. So let's start with the first part. So for the AI voice agent, we'll be using the retail AI. This is a very powerful tool which can provide a very flexible AI agent. So just do the login. So after doing the login, you will end up in such kind of a page and you will be given the credit of around $15. And that credit is enough for our doing the testing part. So if you look at my call history, you can see so many call I have done, but still the credits are for four dollar so this is amazing okay so now we need to create an agent so we'll come over here and we'll click on create an voice agent and there are multiple type of agent type but we'll be going for a single prompt agent because that's very convenient for us okay we'll click on create so i have done a very quick job for you you can so you can go to my school community so inside school community go to my classroom inside classroom go to youtube resource then you will find a retail ai inbound call and if you go to the bottom you can see there is a retail bl blueprint so this is the one of the thing of retail I love about they provide a blueprint so that the other person can directly download it. So if you download this part and if you go to the retail and go back and now we will import it. Let's import the file 
and retail outbound call and open and see. so now as you can see the agent has been created so nothing much of a headache over here just import the file and you are good to go so if you open the file so as you can see all the prompt all the setting which was done by me all the function which were created by me all the web hooks and everything is placed over here so you don't need to do everything but don't worry we'll be doing everything from scratch so let's go back let's create an agent voice agent single prompt and create part over here and now we need to select the first thing we need to select is kind of a llm model which we'll be using so I prefer to use kind of LLM mini with the fast year because it's more natural and much cheaper than the normal GPT 4.1 part over here. Okay. Then for the voice, you can select anyone, but being an Indian caller, I want to use the Indian voice, Indian accent over here. And I use Monica for that. And I'll use this voice and I am targeting for the English audience. So I'm keeping a default English language over here. And now we need to have a prompt. So I won't be writing prompt in detail, everything from you, but let's go to my school community. Inside this, if you can see, there is the retail AI prompt. So we'll just copy this part. So let's copy this whole thing and paste it over here. So let me explain what does the prompt say. So as you can see, it's the name is kind of a caddy over here. And we are saying that you are an expert receptionist for a Tutsi clinic. Okay. So its skill is to collect the accurate data, be polite and clear communication, strong knowledge of dental service. Then we are seeing that kind of a, there is a business information. There is a website we have given operating hours from nine to kind of five over there. And as you can see, we are giving the service that this agent should know that what kind of service they Tutsi provide. Okay. Then this all the variable information is the information that it has to collect from the user. So we are seeing that you have to collect the first name, last name, phone number and email address. Then there are certain kind of rules that we are saying it that keep it uh, simple, speak clearly, use simple and direct language. Okay. Be friendly and helpful over here. So these are the some of the rules then there are steps so how the conversation should flow so the first thing is that understand the reason of the caller okay so there are there can be multiple reasons okay so we are saying that if they want to book an appointment continue to step two if they have a question answer using the knowledge base if they if you don't know the answer let me connect with someone from my team so we have a transfer call functionality where if the ai is not able to answer the call they can transfer to other person Okay, so in the second step, the first thing is to collect the first name and also we are seeing that we are spelling it out. So for example, my name is Lakshit, but it might interpret something else. So we are instructing AI agent to ask the user to spell it out. So it doesn't make mistake. And same thing for the last name. Then there is a phone number which we are asking, then an email address we are asking for. Okay, and everything is proper. Then what we'll do, we'll go for a book an appointment. So book an appointment, we are using kind of a check um, availability. So this is the function we are asking them to call. So in the right hand side, you can see there is a function part over here. So we'll create a one more function. We'll come over here and we can see we have multiple function. So one of the function we require is kind of a check calendar availability. So user might ask that what kind of a slots are available for tomorrow, day after tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, it could be anything. So we have to use this kind of a tool which will check for the availability. Then there is another tool which can book a calendar for you. Okay. Then there are multiple tools over here, but we'll be dealing with these two tools. So for that first, if you want to check calendar availability, so we'll click on this thing. So this is the function name, which we have to mention over here. So as you can see in the left hand side also, um, if I go back and if we scroll down, we can see we have the same tool name over here. So we'll be using the same tool name. You can change the tool name. If you change the name over here, don't forget to change the name in the prompts also. Then we have to give the API key and the event type ID. So we are using cal.com. So by default, the uh, retail is integrated with the cal. If you don't want to use cal, you can just pass the information directly to Zapier, Make or Anytime and they can directly handle it from there. So I'll be using the cal over here because it's very easy, simple integration. Just go to the cal.com. So we'll uh, click cal.com and just do the sign up. So once you have done the sign up, by default, this three event type will be created. If you want, you can create new, but I think it's uh, enough. Then we'll click on this thing. So as you can see, we have this uh, ID over here. Just copy this ID, go back to retail and just paste the ID over here. Okay. And once we have the ID, we need to have an API key. So for that, we'll go back in the bottom. We can see there is a setting part over here. We we'll click on setting then API key and create a new API key. Okay. So we'll name it retail test 30 day expiry. If you want, you can cl click on never expire and we'll save it. Um, and we have the API key. Let's copy the API key, go to retail and then paste the API key. Now select the proper time zone because it will be setting up the meeting according to it. So I am living in Asia. Okay. So we'll save it. So it's done. So now we have done the for the checks availability function. Now there is kind of a one more function which we want to book an appointment. So for that, yeah, over here we can see there is a uh, book appointment cal. So we'll come over here, click on add book on calendar. This name matches. You can change the name, but don't forget to change in the prompt part. 
now we need to have the same api key over here and same event id over. so i'll paste it same thing and don't forget to change the time zone and done so we are done with the two uh, function over here so as you can see there might be one more function where we ask the user to end the call if you see there is a one more function called use end call this gives the ai functionality to end the call if there is no more conversation left so we can just use this part there is the same name just call it okay so we have set up all three function now there is a knowledge base if you want to add more information to this ai agent which it can retrieve it could be some kind of a frequently asked question faqs so you can upload the pdf file over here and it will automatically integrate with the ai agent okay and there is a speech setting so where there is responsiveness uh, interruption sensitivity so these are the uh, different different sensitivity which you can tweak with okay but i am keeping it default if you want you can change it transcription setting i am also keeping it default and there is a call setting so as you can see the ai will respond if no cupid input so this is for the ivr okay so we doesn't need this so there is a kind of end call on silence so it is by default 10 minute but i don't think so you should keep in 10 minutes i think you should go for i think 30 second around what it does is that if the user is not speaking anything for kind of 10 minutes it will wait it's kind of a wastage of so much of money over there because each and every second each and every minute is costing you money but if the user is not speaking for 30 seconds you should end the call and there is a max call duration i don't think so user is going to interact for one hour i think so you should give for around four minutes or something around for my script i think it's uh two minutes is enough but to keep a safer side i'm keeping four minutes then pause before speaking is there ring duration how much wrong ring duration should be there okay then post call analysis and security uh, fallback just keep everything default over here then we'll come to a webhook setting this is a very important thing now we are done with the call we need to send all the information which we had done in the call to our anaton so that we can store all the information in this uh, in the sheet over here as you can see okay so we'll take this thing so now we need to paste the webhook url so i'll be coming to webhook url later because we need to have the anaton for that so let's keep it blank for now so now as you can see we have our prompt we have done all the setting and in the welcome message it should be user initiated because then the user will say hello not the ai kind of a thing okay that's the reason we are keeping user initiated so now we have selected the user initiative so now one thing is remaining is that we need to give this agent a phone number so if you go to a phone number over here there should be one phone number which should be there over here. so if you don't know how to integrate the phone number with retail ai i have created the dedicated video for that you can see in the i button part once you have the phone number, just uh, in the inbound call agent, just select the call agent which we just created. Okay, so once you have that, now we need to call this number and everything will work smoothly. Only one problem for me, for the people living in India, is that this is the US number. And in the Twilio, which I'm using for the number, doesn't have the India number. So I can't call directly over here. But if you want to test the functionality, we can test it uh, very simply. Just go to agent, whatever agent you created. As you can see, I have an attached number over here. I can click on this. Now we can do the test audio over here. If I do the test, I can say, hello. Hello. Thank you for calling Tootsie Clinic. How can I help you today? So as you can see, you can do this exact same testing over here. And this would same work when we call directly over there. So if you want to call in the US, you can call directly. If you want, you can link the India number to Twilio and then you can do it very easily. Okay. So now I think all the things that we require on the retail side is done so now is time to go for the part two where we'll be setting up the anaton so for the people who don't know what is anaton anaton is a low code automation tool which help you automate the task okay so now you can go to anaton.io website over here okay you can click on uh, get started okay so once you are done with the sign up you can go and uh, click on create workflow so and now we need a workflow so for that you can go to my school community in the bottom you can see there is the anaton template just download the template okay once you are done with the download, you can come on three dot over here and uh, import from file. And I'll click on this file and open. So as you can see, whatever flow I had, it is uh, already over here. So don't worry, we will be building it from scratch and create a new workflow. And now we need a first step. So now we need something which would trigger this workflow. So we need a trigger. So trigger is something which starts the workflow. So for that, we need a call from the retail. So we need a webhook over here. So we'll search for webhook. So webhook is nothing but to get a data from other website okay so now we need to pass the data from retail to anytime so for that we need a webhook over here so we can just uh, get this url just make it a post url and we don't need this part we'll write this kind of um, inbound inbound so as you can see the path is changing so we'll copy this part so currently it's the test url in the production we'll be making the workflow active and we'll use production url but for the testing part we can just click over here get this data go to retail in a webhook setting just 
पेज दिस यू आर लो यू सो वेन यूवर द कॉल एंड्स द डेटा विल गो डायरेक्टली टू एनेटन सो यू कैन सी देर थ्री डिफरेंट टाइम ऑफ इवेंट सो देर इज अ कॉल स्टार्टेड इवेंट विल गो कॉल एंडेड इवेंट विल गो एंड कॉल एनालाइज इवेंट विल गो लेट मी शो यू हाउ डज इट लो If I go to my one of the Anantin workflow, so this is the workflow which I'm currently active part. Okay, if I go to execution, so in the execution, if you see, this is the one of the uh, URL which I got. So in the webhook, as you can see, in the event there is a call started event, it is coming. Then if I open another one, then there is a one of a call ended event is coming, and in there is a last one which is kind of call analyzed. If I open that, as you can see, call analyzed. So for each and every call, we receive three event over here: call started, call ended, and call analyzed. In the call analyst, we'll be receiving the transcript and everything, so that we can pass to the our AI agent and we can retrieve all the information. So if let me go to my workflow, one of the workflow. So now we'll be getting the data in such kind of a sense. Okay, uh, as you can see, this is kind of a call analyzed event. Uh, now I am not doing anything on call started or call ended part. I only want to analyze after the call is ended. That is kind of a call analyzed event. Okay, so for that I'll keep an if loop over here. You can go in the plus icon. I can search for the if part. and i can check i can come over here and i can check if the event type is kind of call analyzed call underscore analyzed okay if this is the event then only i want to execute it so as you can see is the true branch and now i want to do the detailing so i will add an ai agent so this ai agent so i'll come over here click on plus icon ai agent okay and now i need to give an information so i don't need to add one because i already have one so i'll click over here let me Execute this part. So we have the data over here. So now as you can see, we have the data. So now we need to summarize this everything. Okay. So as you can see, we have one prompt. You are an AI assistant. Your task is to analyze the following call transcript and extract structured information. What all information we want? So we want name, last name, phone number, email ID, this all thing. Okay. And we'll be toggling this required structured format because we need a structured output format. So if you go in the bottom, so we have this structured output format, and we want name, phone number, reason for visit. meeting scheduled and summary this all thing we want so we have placed the json over here so don't worry i have got your pack so you will be getting the json and every information from my school community as you can see just copy this json and just paste it over here and everything will be there and yeah one more thing so we also need an chat model so we can come over here and click on the plus icon and we can search for open ai and just use it okay and now once we have done the execution so as you can see we have all the information over here so this is my early information this is not my current call information so there are some wrong information because i was doing the testing okay so as you can see my name email phone number and everything is there and now i want to store all the information in the excel sheet so for that i'll connect my excel sheet i'll go over here just create new credentials just do the sign in google and everything is good and now I'll just search for the document which i have created then from the list and we need All the column, so all the column which you have over here will be there over here. So as you can see, I have two sheet, inbound and outbound. This outbound is the earlier video which I created. You can find it in the i button where I have shown you that how you fill the form. You won't be calling, so your AI agent will automatically call you. Okay, so that was my earlier video. Then once I execute this thing, and if I go to my Excel sheet, so as you can see, the new entry has been created. So you can see how simple and how efficient it is. No human intervention is needed. Just you and the AI agent. That's it. AI agent is working 24 by 7 for you, collecting the leads and storing in the database. It could be any CRM or anything. It could be HubSpot. It could be Airtable. It could be anywhere. So I hope you might have found this video informative and value for you. So if you have any query, just let me know in the comment. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel because it takes a lots of time to make such videos. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.